Okay, so in this video, you're going to learn how to add Bootstrap 4 and React Bootstrap to your Gatsby.js project. So stay tuned and watch this video to the end to learn how to do it. Okay, now in the last lecture, I have showed you how we can add style sheets to our Gatsby project. Now, our project currently isn't looking very well at all. So I would want to show you how we can add Bootstrap and React Bootstrap to our project. So if you do not know, React Bootstrap, it's a framework which uses Bootstrap and you can add it very easily to your React project. As you know, Gatsby is a built upon React framework, so we can use that in our project. So basically, React Bootstrap has components here, which we can use to create our pages and to add to our project. So in order to do that, let's install React Bootstrap and Bootstrap as well. So what you want to do is first stop your uh, project if you're currently running it by pressing Ctrl C. Okay, so now that we have uh, stopped our project, we would want to uh, type npm i react bootstrap and also bootstrap make sure you have the correct names and after that type dash dash save in order to save those packages in our package.json file and now we are going to wait a little bit for those packages to be installed okay now that we have react bootstrap and bootstrap installed in our project we would need to add bootstrap css in our Gatsby browser.js. So we would want to remove our global CSS and add the bootstrap CSS. So what you want to do is type import and there you would want to find your node modules bootstrap dist CSS and there you would want to import your bootstrap CSS. Okay, and now we can go in our header uh, and we're going to change it completely. Let's go ahead and inside our React Bootstrap uh, website, let's see what components do we have. We have a nav bar here, which we would want to use. So basically, what you need to do is just copy this and paste it in your React component. It's that simple. So go ahead and let's first delete our module CSS here as we are not going to use it currently. And now we would want to paste that uh, from React Bootstrap. Now we would want to import all of the nav bar, the nav, the nav bar, the nav, the nav dropdown we would want to import them from React Bootstrap. So on top, type the import and open curly brackets and type navbar nav nav drop down. We also want our form and our form control, as you can see it here and you would want the button to be imported from React Bootstrap. React Bootstrap. Those are basically our pre-composed uh, React components that came along with React Bootstrap. So in our index file we have our header but currently we are not providing any props here. It doesn't matter if you delete them or not, they are not going to make any changes currently, but let's delete them anyway. And let's open our local host here and run our Gatsby project. So type Gatsby develop and wait for everything to compile. Okay, and now as you can see, we have our header here that we just copied from our React Bootstrap. Now, 
whenever you're uh, building components in your project there's a convention that would make uh, make it easier for you to uh, distinguish whether or not this is a component or a page or something else so we would want to uh, name our header JS file to be with a capital letter as it's going to be easier for us to understand it's a component and inside our header JS we would not change anything in our index JS however it has already automatically renamed the header here so now let's see what warnings do we have here so whenever you have image don't forget to have an alt so our alternative is going to be Gatsby this is going to be displayed if the image resource is not uh, loaded so let's see if we get another warning here compiled with warning header.js there are multiple modules with names that only differ in casing okay this error is very interesting whenever you have uh, this kind of error go ahead and check your pages for the imports as you uh, have seen we have renamed our header js file and it has been automatically renamed in our index.js however in our test.js file it hasn't been renamed so if you rename it there you're going to have a successful compilation with no errors whatsoever okay now that i have showed you what kind of errors you might uh, uh, get into and how to fix them let's go ahead and build our footer so let's create a new component in our components uh, directory and let's name it footer.js now let's import react from react And now let's create a functional uh, component called footer that is going to be equal to an arrow function. And inside the uh, brackets, let, let's create a footer. And inside our footer, let's create a div with the class name to be container. And inside here we would want to have a span with the class name of text muted and inside of it let's type this is our footer container for example okay so let's export our functional component export default footer and don't forget to uh, put it inside your index.js file so let's first import it footer from dot dot forward slash components footer okay now let's just delete some of the unnecessary stuff here and let's type footer and let's create a new div that's going to be a container for all of our uh, other stuff that we would want to display in our index page so we would want to give this a class name to be equal to container let's type this is where our content will go okay so let's take a look what we are currently having okay now that we have our footer container here we would want to apply to it uh, some custom css so uh, in the previous lectures I have showed you how we can uh, use module CSS so let's do that here first let's create a new file which is going to be 
footer module CSS and inside there let's create a footer class that's going to have a position relative no uh, we're going to have an absolute uh, position it's going to be to the bottom of zero the width the width is going to be 100 percent the height is going to be 60 pixels and the line height line height is going to be also 60 pixels and the background color is going to be let's say f5 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 okay now that we have created our style sheet here let's import it in our footer js so let's type import and on top let's type footer styles from dot forward slash footer module css now that we have imported our footer styles let's give our footer the class name to be equal to footer styles dot footer okay and as you can see our footer container is on the bottom now okay that was it for this video if you want to learn more about gatsby follow the link below where you can find my full course on gatsby js if you like this video click the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future see you next time